Hey guys, it's me. So I got a couple things lately that I thought y'all might want to see a little kind of haul video. I went to a couple thrift stores, I went to the mall, I went to just some random shops. So here's my little haul. Esprit! Sorry guys, my cat is attacking one of the... <laughs> my cat is attacking one of the tags and she's already made a couple holes in it so I think maybe I'll just show you that first. Okay, so I went to the mall because, <laughs> I keep hitting her head because she's attacking everything. I went to the mall because I had a couple coupons because my birthday's in two weeks and I've signed up for pretty much every rewards card you can sign up for. So whenever my birthday rolls around, I get like crap tons of coupons galore, so which is awesome. So I thought I would go to the mall and use up a couple of my coupons. So one of the coupons I got was $10 off any purchase of $10 or more at JCPenney. I went to the JCPenney and I went and I was looking in their clearance section and I found these awesome jegging kind of pants. These are pretty much the only pants I wear because I just love the way they look with everything. I have a black pair, a gray pair, and now I have a maroon pair which I'm super excited about because maroon is one of my favorite colors although it's not a very summery color it's August so it's gonna be winter soon <laughs> and they were on clearance for $9.99 since I had a $10 off a $10 purchase or more $9.99 wasn't gonna cut it because of course you know coupons it's before tax so I was looking through the store and I kind of was just looking around and I went to the jewelry because I had I know they sell some sterling silver stuff and I am a freak about jewelry turning my fingers green I can't do rings that are not sterling silver or anything that's not going to turn my finger green I'm a just crazy freak about that so I went to their sterling silver and I was looking I was looking and I found this super cute little knuckle ring is that what that's called I found this really cute little knuckle ring and I mean it's it's pretty simple. It was um, on sale for $10 from $26. It was $9.99 and so I just figured I'll pick it up. I've actually never worn a knuckle ring before and I kind of used to think they were kind of pointless so I'm not really sure how this will work because when I buy rings I like to wear them every single day. I don't really like alternate rings for different occasions or anything like that. So we'll see if I end up st still wearing this soon. I'm kind of afraid it's going to fall off even though it's it's like tight on there. I'm just like, is it going to fall off? I hope not. Please don't. I spent $10 on you. So basically I spent $10 and got these awesome pants and this ring. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Don't touch the tag. She's looking at it. <laughs> My hand is on it and she's looking at it. She just refuses to let this tag go. Okay, so I went to the mall on a separate occasion with one of my friends and we went into American Eagle, which I usually don't shop at, but uh, she usually finds really cute stuff there. So we just went in there and we were looking around and I was walking with her and I saw this on their jewelry and I like stopped in my tracks and I was like, I need to go and get that. I, I need it. So it is a long necklace with a crescent moon at the bottom. And I'm trying to show you without twisting this. Oh my god. It will not do it. Alright. And the crescent moon at the bottom has got some really pretty like sparkly crystals on the bottom. It is so pretty. I'm so excited to have it. I think it was $16, which is a little pricey for a necklace in my opinion, but I didn't think I was going to find anything like it and I had to have it, so I just splurged on this $16 necklace. What I love most about it is I'm a big chested girl and long necklaces usually do not work for me. Just They just don't. They don't work. Because I can't do that situation where you're swallowed by your by your necklaces they just get swallowed by your chest I think that most big chested people understand that this is my cat Espy um, her full name is Espeon like the Pokemon and she loves this necklace <laughs> apparently 
she is about a year old and bites everything in sight. As you can tell, she was biting that tag and now she's biting this necklace. So anyways, necklace gone because I have to hide it now because she won't. She won't stop. My peepees. I love you even though you hate me all the time and you bite me. Alright, so next place I went was TJ Maxx. And TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, I love these stores. And I have seen YouTubers talk about these and I've been wanting one so bad because I don't know if you can tell, but this mane going on is not the easiest to tame. And maybe it's because I'm a Leo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how that works, but I'm extremely tender headed, which is weird because my hair is so thick. So I went and I've seen YouTubers talk about these. So I was looking for one and I found this TI style tangle. It's not a tangle teaser. It's a knockoff tangle teaser, but I want to say it was four or five dollars and it's got kind of like I don't know how to describe these bristles. They're just like little plastic bristles. Sorry, it's got a little bit of hair in it. Just used it. <laughs> um, but this thing is amazing. Stop messing with stuff. <sighs> this thing is amazing. Seriously. Like, I, I'm loving this. Because I get out of the shower and before I got this, I did not brush my hair. Because I have really damaged hair. I a couple or about a year ago actually now that I think about it about a year ago I went all blonde and it fried fried my hair <laughs> and I'm a cosmetologist I should have known but I was like yeah let's try blonde that'll be super fun was not fun so and I just missed my hair being like this when I went blonde so it was kind of pointless I'll insert a picture here if anybody wants to know what my hair looked like when it was blonde. It just, it never got to the shade that I wanted it to be and because I had dyed it so many times previously and it was so damaged so I was like I'm just gonna go back to what I had before and my hair is still damaged from that. So I need anything to get the damage to a minimum when I'm doing things to my hair. So this is awesome. I get out of the shower and I can actually brush my hair with this in. Like I'll show you right now, I can even brush it and it's like, I mean, obviously it's gonna pinch a little bit, but it is, it's insane. Like this thing just goes through it, just does, just goes through it. It just lets me brush and I'm amazed. Like normally I could not get any kind of brush through this hair at all, just can't. So that's insane in itself. So these are a must. Anybody, thin hair, thick hair, curly hair, straight hair, get you one of these. This is going to be a good investment for four or five dollars. Okay, next thing I get, it's actually really dirty because I've been using it nonstop since I bought it. I own the Naked Basics palette and I'm in love with it because I'm not a shimmery eyeshadow kind of person. I'm much, much more of a matte eyeshadow person. So. I got the Maybelline Nudes palette. I'm loving it, actually. I am loving it primarily for this shade right here. I don't think any of their shades have names, but this shade right here is my new fave because I love just kind of the creamy, natural eye look, and a lot of times I'll either use this darker brown or this kind of like taupey brown matte color to put in my crease and just kind of like give me some definition. And then I'll use this matte black to just in the corner of my eye just to make it a little bit more dramatic. And I just love this. For $10, this is totally worth the investment because I'm pretty sure my Naked Basics palette was $30 if not a little bit more than that and it only comes with five shades. I mean I just think it's a really great palette so I think it's totally worth the $10. This is a good one to have. Alright on to my little thrift store finds. My last things that I have. So the first thing that I got is kind of dumb but I mean sometimes we buy dumb things. That's just what we do. We like to buy dumb things sometimes and that's what I did. <sighs> my camera died. If the lighting's different. It's been about a half hour. I had to charge the battery. So um, I only had a, a couple more things to show you anyway and it's my thrift store stuff. So anyways, so I got this really cute little makeup-y kind of bag thing. That's how I'm going to use it anyway. I love anything Egyptian-y 
like onks and the Egyptian eye symbol and um, I actually have a tattoo of a bastet on my back. Um, anything that has to do with Egyptian, I just love it. I love the way it looks. I love everything about it. I love reading about the culture, everything. So I got this really cool little bag and it was 99 cents and I, I painted my nails in the 30 minutes that I was letting this charge, just so you know, painted. Um, and it kind of just has a cool, like, Egyptian design on it, and it's a really pretty good size. Like, I, I like to carry a lot of makeup with me, like, not a lot, but I mean, just enough to be able to touch up anything, like my eyeliner, my mascara, my foundation, just enough to be able to touch it up. And I usually carry a big purse, so it's usually not a problem. My purse is just really heavy. It's just got this really cool, like, Egyptian design on it, and I just thought it was really cool for a dollar. I mean, I just thought it was really cool. So there's that. Now the last thing I have to show you is probably my favorite thing of the day that I purchased. So I had some Miss Me jeans for a while and unfortunately I've gained a little bit of weight so I can't wear them. So I kind of just like was walking past the jeans in the thrift store and I saw these and I had heard the brand before and I was like I wonder if these are my size. And they're actually silver jeans. Um, Silver Jean Company and so I just like tried these on on a whim and they fit me and so I texted my boss because she has teenage daughters and um, so she knows what kind of jeans are expensive and what aren't um, and she told me that they usually retail for about $85 and these were $12.51 and they have some pretty cute pockets they're kind of just like a boot cut fit and I'm just really happy to own them because now I have a pair of jeans that actually fit me and that kind of makes me really happy because I haven't been able to wear jeans. And they're dark wash which is my favorite kind and I'm just really happy that I found these and plus getting a giant discount on them is way more awesome than I could have ever asked. <laughs> so I'm just happy that they fit. That's, that's all I care about is when things fit me. So anyways, that was the last thing for my haul. Um, let me know if you guys liked this. Um, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Um, every certain, every single person helps. Um, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. I can do hair tutorials, makeup tutorials. I don't know. I'm not super amazing at makeup, but maybe people want to know. <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know how you get this this eye look that is very simple that takes literally two minutes but if, if you guys want to see it I'll do it um I can do more hauls I can do thrift hauls I can do I don't know anything y'all want to see whatever y'all want to see I will be sure to do it so be sure to like and subscribe and um thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video thank you bye bye